Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So recently, I got some viewers ask me about the performance for AMD GPU in Linux for running Stable Diffusion. So today, I wanted to take this chance to do a head-to-head -head comparison. So I will uh, use the exactly the same machine, same hardware. My GPU model is 6700 XT. So, so basically, it's the same machine that I installed uh, Linux Ubuntu on it. So I will run the exact uh, same package, same Python code. So you will check out the difference. So one thing I want to mention is that uh, for Linux, there's a uh, one software called uh, RockM that is available, which is not available on Windows. So there's a slightly difference there, but I, I would say like bigger difference. Yeah, so yeah, let's uh, get started. So right now I'm on Windows. I will, as usual, activate my Conda environment. Activate thirty nine. Okay, and uh, I will start a Python console. Yeah, so I will copy my code uh, to the Python. So there will be should be very familiar to you if you have been following through my previous uh, tutorial. So let's import the function and then we construction for the pipeline. Okay, and then provide uh, the prompt. Okay, I will press enter to start uh, the process. Yeah, let's uh, pay attention to the task manager, the GPU monitoring on the right side. So yes, indeed, uh, it's loading some of the model into the VRAM here. OK, I will press Enter now. Yeah, so now I will press the Enter to start the process. Yeah, let's pay attention to the monitoring board on the right side for the GPU, for the VRAM usage, GPU usage, and also the system RAM usage. Okay, yeah, three, two, one, enter. Yeah, normally the first run may be slightly longer, so I will do two additional run after this. All right, let's uh, take a look at the generated uh, image. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, yeah, I think uh, we triggered uh, the safety like a uh, check. So yeah, that's okay. We can do another one.
Yeah, we can see the speed is slightly higher than the first run. All right, yeah. I'm hope I'm like have more luck this time. Oh yeah, yeah. Indeed, we were able to create uh, one great image using twenty eight seconds. Okay, let's do a third one. Well, from the progress bar, we can see that the speed is almost uh, the same as the second one. Okay, yeah, I think uh, it work, works great. It's not uh, uh, very fast, but uh, I think it's uh, still like uh, acceptable, like uh, half a minute to create a default uh, image. I think that should be acceptable. All right, so, so this is all for Windows. So next, I will switch gear to Ubuntu. Okay, so at uh, Ubuntu, similarly, I will start uh, the Python virtual environment. To do is import Torch and uh, import uh, diffusers. You want, you may not need the the entire diffusers. Stable diffusion pipeline, and then you can um, create the pipe using the imported uh, stable diffusion pipeline. And uh, here you will need uh, to to you use a model you download so here will be a model pass and uh, here You set the data type to torch float sixteen. Okay, so the the first uh, parameter is the pass to the model. So I already have the model here called a wife diffuser. So I can simply do that. And uh, press enter. Okay. Yeah, I think I forgot. Uh, there's the method from pre-trained. And uh, press enter. So it will start uh, loading of the model. May take uh, a while. Okay, and after that, what you are gonna do is to do the pipe equal to pipe the two cooler. So basically, it will load uh, the model into the GPU. In our case, it's the AMD GPU. Yeah, don't be confused about the CUDA.
And uh, the next one we want to do is to enter our prompt. Yeah, I will, I will <laughs> enter one for the wife. So, and uh, it will gonna be to generate the image. Yeah, just double check uh, your uh, letters, make sure they are all correct. And uh, we will be able to press enter, so it will start the generating. And don't worry, you may see this warning, it's totally fine. I think uh, even there's a warning, it seems it will not uh, affect uh, the performance. So the first run will take uh, a while, but uh, after that, I think uh, you were able to achieve a very quick uh, generating. So in this case, I think uh, it's uh, about uh, half minute for 50 steps. I think this is really uh, good, I think, right? So let's, we, 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 will, we will double check uh, the image right here, image the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it looks looks good. If you want to save it, you can do the image the save and uh, give it a pass. If you want to use the same pass, totally fine. Yeah, in our case, it's right here. And let's uh, give it another try. Yeah, so so right now you can see that it's very quick. It's about uh, seven se seconds. So we can do it again, right? Yeah, I think this, this time it works okay. Okay, and uh, we we can save it. And uh, let's uh, give it another try. and show it. Yeah, all right, it's very, really good. I think uh, the, the performance is really uh, pers like consistent. So as you can see, seven seconds, seven seconds, seven seconds. So you may experience uh, like a bit uh, large number for your first run, but uh, I think uh, after that, it will be really quick. Okay, so that uh, concludes our trying on Linux. So we see that on Windows, it uh, took about uh, 28 seconds, but on Linux, it's uh, like seven seconds, so one fourth of the time. All right, yeah, I hope you get a, a taste of the comparison. I hope you enjoy my video. I will upload uh, some tutorial related uh, to the Linux, so stay tuned. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.